Baseline, chain, and direct dimensioning. Here we have an example of baseline dimensioning. Baseline dimensioning, we dimension several different dimensions that originate from one surface, one center line, or one plane. Uh, these are called datums when it measures from one perfect surface or one perfect line or one perfect axis. Uh, that's called a datum or datum. And so here we have an example where this 15 to this edge is measured from this datum over here. And also so is 30 measured from this datum on the left. And so is this 45 measured from this data on the left. Likewise, from the bottom, we have a, a datum across the bottom. And this 10 measurement here is measured from this datum. So is this 20 measured from this data, datum, and so is this 30 measured from this datum or datum. This is a more accurate way uh, of dimensioning. And it's typically used in manufacturing. If we go to chain dimensioning, Chain dimension is used in manufacturing sometimes, but it's more commonly used in architectural, actually. In the chain dimensioning here, uh, let's zoom in on this one. Uh, we start off and we measure in a chain. So we have 15 here, and we keep going in the same line. And we have 15. And we have the overall dimension on top and 45. And we expect then the carpenter or the machinist or whatever it is to be able to add these two dimensions and subtract it from the overall to get 15 here. Same thing on the sides. Um, we have a chain dimension of 10 and 10. And then we omit the third dimension. So it's common practice in mechanical to omit these uh, last dimensions, omit one dimensions. But in architecture, we typically put those in. So uh, if we're putting them in, we will typically end up then with the the chain dimensioning run across and then for the last one we put the word reference in there and that allows them to know that hey we're measuring 10 here and 10 here if there's any uh, plus minus going on if the parts longer or shorter than 30 this will be the value affected so this is an example of chain dimensioning now direct dimensioning is a type of dimension that we use to control the specific size or location of certain features. So in this case, we are controlling the, the size here of this dimension here, this 26. You see we have a baseline dimensions here, but we are controlling the measurement from here to here. Those, that measurement across there is going to be controlled by this direct dimension, which is 26. So um, this then allows uh, no tolerance buildup to happen over this particular value. So we have three different types. This is the direct dimensioning, chain dimensioning is where they're in a line, and baseline dimensioning when they're being measured off of a datum or datum.